Hello, I'm Lewis Gall, Consultant General and Upper Gastrointestinal Surgeon here at Ross Hall Hospital in Glasgow. Today I'll be answering some of your most asked questions about having a gastroscopy, which is a common test to visualise your upper gastrointestinal tract. So, let's begin. First things first, what is a gastroscopy? A gastroscopy is a form of endoscopy and is a minimally invasive test to look inside your body. A gastroscopy is to check inside your upper gastrointestinal or digestive tract. This includes assessment of your gullet or food pipe, known as the esophagus, your stomach, and the first part of your small intestines, known as the duodenum. A gastroscopy is performed by a consultant gastroenterologist or general surgeon. Why might you need a gastroscopy? Your consultant may suggest performing a gastroscopy to investigate the symptoms you're experiencing. It is commonly performed to investigate symptoms related to a difficulty swallowing, upper abdominal pain, nausea or vomiting, unexplained weight loss, heartburn or reflux type symptoms. These symptoms can be caused by many different conditions, so it's important to investigate them properly. It is your decision to go ahead with the procedure or not, and therefore it's important you understand what a gastroscopy involves. Can you eat before a gastroscopy? On the day of the gastroscopy, you'll need to stop eating at least six hours before the test. You can drink sips of water only up to two hours before the test. Your consultant will share more detailed information about this based on your needs before the test, and they will let you know whether you need to stop taking certain medications such as blood thinning medications before the gastroscopy as well. If you have diabetes, please highlight this to your consultant. What happens during a gastroscopy? The endoscopy department team will look after you throughout your procedure. You'll have an opportunity to speak with your consultant on the day and ask any questions you may have before being asked to sign a consent form for the procedure. In the endoscopy room, you'll usually be offered throat spray to numb the back of your throat before the procedure, with or without the addition of an intravenous sedative. The throat spray can taste unpleasant. You'll be asked to lie on your left hand side, a mouth guard will be inserted to protect your teeth and your heart rate and oxygen levels will be monitored throughout. Your consultant will then insert the gastroscope into your mouth and down your esophagus into your stomach and duodenum. The scope is connected to a monitor so your consultant can look inside your body clearly and in real time. Air will be pumped through the scope to keep your upper gastrointestinal tract inflated so that everything can be visualized clearly. You may feel bloated and burp during the procedure. This is completely normal. The test can be used to both diagnose and treat conditions. Your consultant may take pictures and can take biopsies during your procedure to help diagnose problems. Biopsies do not usually hurt and allow a small tissue sample to be sent to the laboratory to be examined under the microscope by a pathologist. The gastroscopy will assess for benign, non-cancerous conditions of the upper gastrointestinal tract, but can also identify more sinister problems such as esophageal cancer and stomach cancer. A therapeutic endoscopy allows treatment of a condition through the endoscopy, and your consultant will discuss this with you in detail beforehand if any therapeutic procedures are planned. For example, if there is a narrowing within your gullet or esophagus, then a balloon can be used to stretch or dilate this narrowing to allow fluid and drink to pass more easily. Other therapies such as stopping bleeding or removing polyps or growths would be discussed with you beforehand. Is it painful? A gastroscopy shouldn't be painful, but you might feel some discomfort and bloating which is normal. You can stop the test at any point by raising your arm and your consultant will stop as soon as it's safe to do so. The local anaesthetic spray helps numb the back of your throat to make the procedure easier for you. Do you have general anaesthetic with a gastroscopy? The vast majority of patients have a gastroscopy not under general anaesthetic, but instead with a combination of throat spray and intravenous sedation. A sedative injection is a medication to make you relax and you may feel drowsy. You might even fall asleep during the gastroscopy with a sedative but you won't be unconscious as you would be with a general anaesthetic. This will be administered through a tube into a vein in your arm. You can discuss these options with your consultant and they'll offer you the best option for your situation. What are the risks of a gastroscopy? 
A gastroscopy is a relatively safe and commonly performed procedure. However, as with all interventions, complications can occur and some may be serious and even cause death. Some patients experience an allergic reaction to medications used during the procedure and it's important to highlight any known allergies to the endoscopy team. Other risks with a gastroscopy include a risk of bleeding, causing a perforation, which is a hole in the esophagus, stomach or duodenum, infection and heart or lung complications, including aspiration of gastric contents leading to a pneumonia or chest infection, heart attacks or strokes. It's also possible for certain abnormalities or pathologies to be missed. Should complications occur, you may require hospital admission for treatment and further procedures, which could include surgery. It is important that you understand all of the intended benefits and associated risks with the procedure before you agree to proceed. An information leaflet will be provided to you ahead of your test. This discusses these risks and others in greater detail and it's important you read and understand this information and discuss any queries you have with your consultant. How long does it take? A gastroscopy lasts between 10 to 20 minutes for a diagnostic test and longer if any therapies are performed. Can a gastroscopy check for cancer? Yes. As I mentioned, if your consultant sees an abnormality during your procedure, they can take a biopsy which can be checked for cancer in a laboratory following the test. This result may not be available for one to two weeks after your test. This is just one of the many reasons you might have a gastroscopy. Symptoms of cancer, such as difficulty swallowing, abdominal pain or weight loss, can very often overlap with many other non-cancerous conditions, which is why it's important to have a gastroscopy to rule out other causes. What is the recovery period like after a gastroscopy? After the gastroscopy is finished, you'll be moved to a recovery room. You should be able to go home as soon as you feel well enough, which is usually within an hour or two. If you have a sedative, you will need someone to collect you from hospital because you'll feel drowsy and not be able to drive as the medication wears off. You should avoid driving, operating heavy machinery, drinking alcohol or cooking for 24 hours after intravenous sedation. If you have a local anaesthetic spray, you should wait an hour before eating or drinking. You may have some stomach bloating, but this will pass over a few hours. Some patients have a sore throat afterwards, which can be managed with simple painkillers. The recovery period should be minimal and people can return to work and regular activities such as exercise after 24 hours, as long as they are feeling fit and well enough to do so. If you don't recover as anticipated or feel unwell with chest or back pain, abdominal pain, shortness of breath or fevers, then you should contact the endoscopy unit initially or seek urgent medical assessment. What are the next steps for treatment? Your consultant will usually discuss the initial findings of the gastroscopy with you on the day and provide you with a copy of your report. Treatment such as medication to reduce the acid levels in the stomach or an alteration in diet may be suggested at this point. If you've had any biopsies taken, you will need to wait for the results. Usually, a follow-up consultation will be arranged with your consultant to discuss the findings in greater detail and to review any biopsy results once available. The next steps in your management or need for further tests will be discussed at this point. It may be that the gastroscopy is reassuring and no further follow-up or treatment is required. Your consultant will discuss your individual treatment plan with you. If you'd like to discuss having an endoscopy in more detail, you can book an appointment with me or your nearest consultant at circlehealthgroup.co.uk. We hope you found this video useful and don't hesitate to leave any questions in the comments section below.